Football coaches from across the SEC masking up in a new video. Telling fans, we're wearing one. Are you? And honestly, if anyone wants some football season this year, you should probably throw one on because the SEC athletic directors and SEC staff members met this afternoon in Birmingham to discuss the football season. And right now, they're not jumping to make any big decisions, but Commissioner Greg Sankey does say that they are running out of time. The SEC will wait until late July to make changes to the schedule, but in order to build comfort that the teams can compete this fall, there needs to be some change in public health trends. As for potentially moving to a conference-only schedule, though, Sankey says we're not there yet. We have a schedule. I've said my focus is on preparing to play the season as scheduled, but the circumstances around COVID-19 will guide our decision-making. And uh, I've also said repeatedly we think it's wise to use as much time as possible uh, in making our decisions. And so that's exactly where we are. Arkansas Athletics Director Hunter Yurchek putting out a statement following that meeting, thanking Sankey for his leadership regardless of the decision that ultimately comes down. Adding that as a self-sustaining athletic program at the University of Arkansas, we have an obligation to explore ways to mitigate the financial impact of those decisions, including our ability to continue to fully support the academic, athletic, and personal development of our 465 student-athletes. Now, today is Monday, which means we would have a new Ask Mike segment typically. However, our senior analyst is on vacation getting ready to celebrate his birthday. But we were able to ask Mike about today's decision by the SEC. You know, I'm glad the SEC has decided to put some space between that decision and now because there's still plenty that can happen over the next few weeks. Uh, but I'm still, I would be curious to know behind the scenes what's being discussed among those ADs in the conference commissioners. And are they looking at the real data from the CDC, which shows that athletes age, these athletes are 25 and under. And the data over the last five months shows that the chances of getting seriously ill or even being hospitalized for those age athletes, if they are healthy, and I believe they should be given a thorough physical examination before they start working out the full-time workouts. And if they're healthy, then the chances of them getting sick are almost nil. And SEC play-by-play -play announcer Tom Hart speaking with us this evening following the announcement by the SEC, praising the conference for not rushing to make a big decision. There's so much more that we have to learn, not only about um, not only about this virus, but how it impacts uh, players of this age, student athletes, and specifically where it'll be in these collegiate communities once we get closer to uh, to a playing date. So no rush uh, to figure anything out, although I know they spent a lot of time today talking about different options when it comes to a schedule, different options when it comes to playing within those stadiums and with fans, and there's still a lot of work left to be done. 